hello everyone welcome to my channel today i will be discussing how you can use ai tools like ChatGPT, deepseek q1 or grok any of them um and create diagrams for your um architecture or for your paper for any of the use case you are looking for so if you are someone you can be who deal with uh, diagrams uh, in your daily basis so this video is for you i will be showing you the best and the easy way you can actually use ai and create the diagram combining with other tools so let's get started so for now i'm using chat gpt but feel free to use other tools so um i already have the the prompt so to save your time so since i'm a developer so i'm using for to um draw like university management system architecture here so i'm asking i need to create a component diagram using mermaid so i'm using mermaid here so at the end of this video so make sure to stay at the end of this video because i'm going to give you a bonus that will actually give you the best way you can use ai and other tools to create any um diagrams for like different domains so stay stay tuned until the end of the video so for now i'm going to use mermaid and i will be dis providing the detailed description about my architecture as you can see here so i provided detailed architectures you can see right i provided detailed architectures so for your use case you can provide your detailed description and you can ask to provide use a mermaid code here so let's just paste the code here So now ChatGPT will provide me the code, the mermaid code, as you can see here. So there are other libraries and other tools that you can use. So I will be showing you after this video, but I'm going to show you this as an example here. You can see very beautiful. So it is providing us the detailed architecture for mermaid. So to render mer mermaid, you can use mermaid.live here. So let me remove this one here and paste our today diagram you can see right wow this is like detailed architecture of uh, flow so let me use this tool app.diagrams.net or draw.io if you have experience using this before the old name is draw.io or the updated version is app.diagrams.net so you can click on this plus button here then uh, advanced and you can see mermaid right then after you click mermaid paste the code here so boom as you can see very beautiful the detailed architecture of university management system as you can see right so we can modify so we can improve it you can ask please uh improve it and i'm just saying improve it and it is this is not a good way to improve it because you have to ask like which aspect do you want to improve the color anything i mean what do you want to simplify it if you want to make maybe simplify you can simplify if there it's it forgets something you can ask to actually um like customize it for you right let me just say improve it so this is a okay the one i provided before now it give me this one the updated one okay let me copy this one paste it here you can see right i think it is very complicated for example you can just say make it simple let me just make it simple so i'm just i'm just i'm just showing you how you can actually so this is not the right uh prompt to use but 
I'm just showing you, you can modify, you can modify, you can change the color, you can add some like um, parts, some components to the diagram. You can ask the tool to provide you to modify for you, right? You can see, right, how beautiful it is. So uh, let me just use, do you remember the steps? So plus button. Advanced Mermaid, right? Beautiful. Beautiful diagram, right? So the beautiful thing, so you can actually, the, the flow, right? You can modify, you can flow animation. You can see, right? You can, you can modify this diagram. You can uh, select one part, move it to other. You can group this whole diagram together, uh, select all, right click, group it. Um, you can resize it. You can change the, like the background. You can actually um, work around and you can, you can see that it have a lot of features, right? So yeah, this is one of the way, one of the two, I mean, one of the way you can use, you can also use Mermaid with your actually GitHub in the readme file or in markdown uh, markdown file so you can actually use it so for example here let me just you edit this md file so what you can three dots mermaid paste the the mermaid code and you can then you can preview right in your uh, readme description file so what you can do you can you can put with your the description of your architecture you can see right how beautiful it is right if you are a developer i mean this will save you a lot of time right so yeah i hope it is very helpful for you so there are actually a lot of uh, tools right there are so many tools so one of the things you can use this AI is you can actually learn something new. So let me ask, could you please let me be more polite, right? So let me say, please provide me uh, tools or libraries to use for diagrams. So let me, let me just ask, right? So what kind of tools or libraries we can use? Um, so plants, you, you can see Mermaid is one of the top one. You can use Mermaid. It is simple text based, okay, diagram tool to write flow charts, sequential diagrams. So if you are looking for this kind of class diagram, so you can use Mermaid and you can, you can use like mermaid.live editor to it can also mark down, right? It can also integrate with this one. As you can see, there is another one, very powerful one. I use daily plant UML. So for this one is, um, it is ideal for UML diagrams, right? If you are someone who is looking for like UML diagram, you can use it. So there are other tools as you can see, draw, uh, .io is like one of them. There are other graph with, okay. You can see, right? You can learn. Figma. So you can learn, um, you can see a lot of tools here. So you can use AI and combine with these tools actually to draw the best diagram in your domain or in your specific uh, use case, right? So this is all for today. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. See you in the next one. Bye.